Today's a bit of a scary day for me. Uh, a day that I've been uh, both dreading but also looking forward to at the same time. The day that I go to the doctor to find out what's the deal with this messed up knee of mine uh, that I had surgery on last year but it's clearly not right right now. Uh, it's definitely injured again. So uh, had the MRI taken last week. Uh, now Dr. Atkins is going to have a look at it and we'll figure out a course of action here. So hopefully uh, one way or another we get this resolved ASAP. Some osteochondritis or loss of blood supply to a couple of areas on the back of your femur. Now you didn't have that before, so the MRI looks different. Question is, I don't know why this happened. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I think for now, all we do is really rest your knees. I mean, I don't think there's any surgery for it because you're not locking, you're not catching, you're hurting. But what we have to do is really rest for a little while and see if this heals. Now you can bike, but I don't want you doing you know, compression type stuff. And I don't care about really about weightlifting, but you know, in terms of leg presses aren't probably a bad problem. Leg extensions, that sort of stuff is okay, but I just really don't want you doing any jarring, any cutting, pivoting, jumping. Lunges, like lunges have been hard too. Lunges, I, well, lunges you really, I don't like lunges just because they're hard for me, but I don't know that lunges are particularly hard on this. But let me show you the MRI. Okay. This is a part of your MRI from May. This little black triangle is a cartilage. This white area is supposed to be like a black line like this, and that's the torn cartilage. Now the MRI now, this has been fixed. The black triangle is back where it's supposed to be. But the bone up here, see this little white area? Mm -hmm. It wasn't there. And then you sort of see this this part of the bone has been injured and it's on this is the outside part of the knee and so it's on both inside and outside we look at your MRI back in May and it wasn't there so the lateral meniscus the lateral cartilage is healed but now you have these two areas where the bone has been injured and probably lost a little blood supply. Now, a lot of times you give it time and those heal. When you operate on it if you're locking or if you're having mechanical locking or giving way, right now you're not doing that. Okay. So right now I'll just really rest it. I don't care about biking. I don't care if you bike. But I don't want impact. I don't really care about weightlifting. But it's going to be you know, cutting, pivoting, and impact. Yeah. And you just have to give it a little bit of time. The meniscus, you know, was, what I really thought is you, that meniscus hadn't healed and it tore loose. But it really looks like right where it's wrong. It really looks like right where it's supposed to be. This is the torn meniscus here. And it really looks good. This is the tear from before. And this is where the tear was. It's, all right, so uh, definitely not not the news that I expected to hear, and honestly, I don't know I don't know if, if it's good news or bad news, because all I wanted was to figure out a resolution, so how the heck I can get back to being myself, and I definitely did not get that. So I got to wait four to five, maybe six weeks. It sounds like um, to go back and have it looked at. And until then, no running, no jumping. So that's not what we we're looking for. So what are we going to do now? I gotta figure out a way. How in the world are we gonna hit some of these goals that we have set if we cannot run, and we cannot jump? And weightlifting, all that sort of stuff we can still do, but uh, I'm not the same if I can't run, if I can't jump. So I gotta figure out something. And I'm gonna figure it out. Just like we all figured it all out in our every day-to-day -day lives, in everyone's individual day-to-day -day lives. We all have things we got to figure out. It's just the next thing that I got to figure out, and I will. And I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, but I guess anytime you don't have to have surgery, 
you should probably be happy about that, right? So let's take the glasses half full and roll with that.